In this video, Sinica is going to show you how you can delete tags, triggers and variables in your Google Tag Manager account. All and more coming up right after this. Hi everyone, I'm Sinica from MeasureSchool.com and in this really quick tutorial, I just want to show you how you can delete and restore tags, triggers and variables. So to get started, head over to your GTM account and then just click on tags and pick the tag you want to delete. For example, I want to delete the Google Analytics page view tag. So you click on it and then you see these three little dots up here. If you click on it, you get the option to copy, delete, uh, view changes and show notes. But we obviously want to delete our tag. So let's click on that and let's just click on delete again. And our tag got successfully deleted. That's pretty simple, isn't it? And it's pretty much the same for triggers and variables as well. So let's just go to our triggers and let's try to delete the product pages page view trigger. So let's do the same thing we've just done for our tag. Let's click on delete. But now we're getting a trigger deletion error and it tells us down here why we get this error. It's because the trigger is currently referenced by a tag or a variable. And we have to remove this connection to this tag before we can delete the trigger. It also tells us the tag name down here. It's the Adro dynamic retargeting tag. So let's try to do this. Let's go back to our tags and let's click on our add role dynamic retargeting tag and down here you see the referenced trigger so if you want to delete this trigger or remove this trigger you have to click on the white container and then you see the little minus popping up right here and if you click on it it will remove it let's click on save and don't click on add trigger just click on save tag and now we should be able to delete our trigger as well so let's go to back to triggers, click on our product pages page view trigger and let's try to finally delete it and click on delete. And yes, our trigger got successfully deleted. In case you want to restore a deleted tag trigger or variable, that's really easy as well. All you have to do is go to your overview and then you see all your workspace changes. So all the things you've deleted or modified in the past. And if you want to restore a trigger or tag, all you have to do is um, click on the little three dots and click on abundant change. So let's do that. And let's do that as well. And now our tags and triggers should be back at the place. Right here is the Google Analytics page view tag and our product pages page view trigger. So this was it, a really quick tutorial about tags, triggers and variables. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you for watching and happy measuring. All right, so there you have it. This is how you can delete tags, triggers and variables in your Google Tag Manager account. Now, if you are looking for more tutorials on Google Tag Manager, we have a ton more on our channel. So hit that subscribe button over there because we bring you new videos every Wednesday. My name is Julian, till next time.